Good morning. It is a lot later than I wanted to wake up. I forgot to set my alarm. Barring that, you'll probably notice something that's missing right now. There are no birds singing this morning. I figured they would have been a backup for me, because they're usually loud as all get out, starting about 5.30. <laughs> but, they weren't, so... I'm still sleeping here on the platform. Much later than I had anticipated. Remember what I was saying about never make plans out here because they're always going to change? Yep. Textbook example. It's cold, too. Feels like it's in the low 50s right now. But... I still gotta get up. I gotta get moving. So at this point, since it's later than I wanted to be, um, at first checkpoint of the day is gonna be War Spur Shelter, 12.1 or 12.6, something like that. I'm gonna get stirred up and get moving. And I'll get back with you when I get on the trail. So, just leaving the Pine Swamp Branch Shelter a lot later than I had anticipated. Well, hello. Right outside of camp. Got a snakey snake. <laughs> Black rat snake. Decided to come say hi this morning. Beautiful. I love it. It's going to be a good day. Maybe there was no birds this morning because no chirping because a snake might have gotten out and caused them all to be quiet. That can happen, but either way, we're walking. It's about 8.45, way hey, 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 later than I had anticipated hiking this morning. But you know, it is what it is. Still got to make my miles. Got to find a way to get where I'm going. And uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. I'm not filling up with water first thing this morning. I drank the last two quarts that I had filled from last night when I first woke up. So I'm hydrated. I am going to be crossing several creeks. So I am going to be filling up when I cross the first one of those instead. Just to spare my feet in the morning the extra, you know six pounds of the three liters that I'd be carrying. So, if I see anything else cool, like that little snake back there, I'll bring you back. Huh. Well, that's not a turkey feather. It looks like a hawk feather. Huh, cool. Right there. So someone else can see it. No sense carrying feathers, they would just get destroyed. So I'm coming up on the first of the Renarli climbs of the day. That's again, it's about 1800 feet up, so yay! Uh, gotta do it, gotta do it. Got a, I think 11.1 .1 left to get to the uh, War Spur Shelter. And again, that's that's the initial goal for the day. I'm gonna see uh, what time I get there, how I'm feeling. I'm probably likely gonna push on a bit after that, but I don't know. I'm not gonna say for sure right now what I'm gonna do, because I don't know. So, gotta keep walking. Once I get done with that climb, I'll come back and see if there's anything worth showing you. For now, let's just walk. Okay, I'm four miles in for the day and I ain't done climbing yet. It's already hot. As cold as it was this morning, it got hot quick. It's really about 11 o'clock right now. My pace is terrible. 
because this climb I'm doing right now is like 800 and something feet per mile. And it's like two and a half miles of it. Fun fact, tomorrow's climb is even better. There's apparently a uh, water source in like point one though. So I'm gonna go down, fill up the two bottles. I've already had a drink again already. And I still got the full one in the back, so I still got my, my third. But uh, yeah, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything up over the top of the ridge today. I am just gonna take my time. It is slow going, real slow going. So at this point, I got 9.1 miles left to uh, get to Warsburg Shelter. I'm probably gonna end up staying at the road past that because I was looking at the map and the road past that with the campsite, it's actually called Hutchison Road. Spelled on my map, just like my last name, which I never see very often. So, gonna be uh, chilling out, relaxing there because the, the first climb tomorrow is, is just brutal. I wanna say it's over a thousand foot per mile and it's like two and a half miles straight freaking up. So that's fun. But I said I'd get back if I saw something cool. I haven't seen anything cool yet. I just had to take a breather and figure it I'd check in. So again, if I see something cool, I'll bring you back. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm gonna keep going so these gnats leave me alone. It is 12.35, and I have done a whopping 5.4 miles today. Holy crap. This is a nasty section of trail. You gotta pick your foot, you know, your footing every single step. I've already fallen twice. <laughs> this thing's kicking my butt. I gotta slow down so I don't fall again because I, I came really close to breaking my wrist and my ankle on that second fall that I took, that second stumble. So, gonna be just picking. Here, let me turn you around here real quick. This doesn't seem that hard on camera, but every single one of these bumps there's one misstep waiting to happen. One snapped ankle waiting to happen. Because you take these steps and you get thrown off balance. Yeah. It's just, it's not my favorite kind of trail to walk along at all. I'll be glad when I'm done with this area. Because I, uh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. In other news, I just about crapped myself because I just picked up or kicked up a trio of roughed grouse. Holy crap. They'll stay right next to the trail and then they will blow up as soon as they get right underneath your feet or you walk right up to them. Scares the crap out of me every time. But it's still the kind of thing that makes me smile. That's the kind of thing you need out here. It's just something to make you smile. Uh, I gotta keep walking. I just figured I'd let you know about that. That was pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's Bear. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so that just happened. <laughs> Here I was sitting on this nice, lovely log, my nice sweaty butt print. And uh, holy crap. I finally got a bear on film for you. Damn, it's a good day. This trail's a struggle, but man, it is a good day. Oop, oop, 
it, and that's what I'm talking about. This trail sucks. But anyway, my day's made. <sighs> what a day. Okay, this is a short side spur off of the AT. Brings you up to this formation here. It's called Wind Rock. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. It's not nearly as hazy as it has been the last few days. But that's a good view. Right over Mystery Valley number 73. No idea where I am. This seems like a good a spot as any to uh, have lunch. I can confirm there is wind and there is rock. Wind rock, app name. All right, I'm gonna chill out for a little bit up here. Probably duck back into these trees and have myself some lunch. I've got five miles left in the day. I am just, I'm picking my way through these rocks. It's not fun. The only fun parts of the day were the snake this morning and the bear when I was sitting down there earlier. So, day's not a total bust. This is a good view though. Bear number two for the day. Well, this is probably kind of dumb on my part here, but here we go. Bear number two for the day. <laughs> I think I'll try and get another shot of him. There he is, he's just walking right down there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, that's interesting. Oh, jeez. Well, like I was saying, everybody, I've been trying to get a bear on film for you, and today we have two. <laughs> oh, we're not even in the Shenandoah National Park yet. That one was a bit bigger. He might have been about 150 pounds. That was a bigger bear. Bigger than <laughs> so I just met this gentleman here. Pounds. He twice, twice of my body weight. He was a, a bit bigger than one I saw this morning, but. Full there. Yeah, two minutes, three minutes maybe after I get here to, to War Spur Shelter. Nice shelter, I might add. You know, we've heard something behind us up in this hill over here, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I saw a bear earlier. Yeah, I'm, keep looking at every sound I see. I pick up my water bottle, look back, and he's walking right through camp. So, I, <laughs> I think I might stay in the shelter tonight. I was going to set up a tent too, but uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Now we gotta find a good branch to bear hang because there's definitely bear activity. Oh, perfect. Right there. Right there. Yeah, I think we can make it work. Eh. Yeah, maybe. Well, we're gonna be here, so I usually wake up as soon as I hear something. Jeez, that was crazy. I'll get back with you guys in a bit. All right, well, it was a good day today. I uh, did 12.8 miles from uh, Pine Swamp Branch Shelter to here, the War Spur Shelter. Had dinner, got the bear bag hung up. Everything's looking good. Hopefully that uh, second bear I saw today, the one that sauntered right through camp here, doesn't decide to say hi for the evening. But regardless, it is what it is. I got my trekking poles to poke them. And I got my little cleaver ready to go if I need to. So I think the only thing I really have to worry about tonight is the mice. But either it was a great day, and uh, we'll be waking up pretty early tomorrow. I do have an alarm set for about 6.15. I really want to be hiking by 7 o'clock. I don't want to dawdle and dick around like I did this morning. Because there's a couple of ridges i got to get over. And I want to try and do 18 mile, 18.2 to get to uh, Nide Shelter tomorrow. So um, that's the deal for right now. And like always, thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you in the morning.